Christy Vega Glue from Phoenix K Company and I'm going to show you how to make a thin fondant ruffle. You want to start with either all gum paste or half gum paste, half fondant. I already have some pre-rolled on my board. Um, I'm actually using a non-stick uh, cell board and a non-stick pad to kind of hold this down as I'm rolling it. So I'm going to roll it out a little bit more. You want to get it thin. That's key to this technique. You want to get it as thin as possible. If your fondant or gum paste mixture is too thick, it won't have a nice, delicate look. Once your fondant gum paste is rolled out very thinly, you're going to use a, a cookie cutter. It has a scalloped edge. You can also use a tool called a garret friller. It, basically what I'm doing is a generic way of using a garret friller. Uh, I think this is a little bit more readily available. <clears throat> so depending on how wide you want your ruffle will determine what size cutter you're going to need. I'm going to go with a little bit of a larger size. Once the scalloped edge is cut out, you want to get another uh, round cookie cutter. And like I said, depending on how wide you want your ruffle, you want to, if you want a wider ruffle, you're going to choose a smaller center. This one's pretty wide. I don't want it quite that wide. So I'm going to use this size. You're going to cut out an inner circle. And pull away the excess. So your extra fondant, you want to make sure and put this in a plastic bag, keep it covered because it will dry out. Once this is cut out, you only have so much time to work with this before it starts getting dry and cracking on you. So wh when you get it to this point, you're going to get an X-Acto knife. You can use any kind of straight edge knife and you're going to cut e or cu pretty much cut it right in half. So you're going to have two pieces to work with. You're actually doing two ruffles at a time or not at a time, but you have two separate pieces. So once you have it cut out, if you have any of these little extra hangy pieces here, I always get rid of those because I'm a perfectionist like that and it bothers me. So when this is rolled out, you're going to use a, not it's not quite a tooth, it's more like a cocktail skewer. It's not a bamboo skewer though. Bamboo skewer is a little bit too big. So if you, uh, there's two different sizes here. This is an actual toothpick, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, you can use either one of these, whatever you feel comfortable with. I like to use a little bit of the bigger one, but as you're, um, what you're doing here is you're putting a lot of, your pressure is right here where my fingertip is at. And what you're doing is you're rolling this. And as you're, ro you're rolling this and you're pushing pressure, making pressure at the same time, while you're doing this, it actually is creating the ruffle. And then the more pressure you put on your fondant gum paste, the more it will start to ruffle. And you want to actually use more of the tip. If you have it too far up this way, it won't ruffle as nicely. So you kind of want to use more of the tip of the skewer. So if a piece rips like this, you can just cut off the ripped off piece. And if you're going to attach this to a cake, this is a fondant cake. Um, and it's pretty much the technique we did here. We did different layers. We did about three layers of ruffles on here. And I'm just going to adhere this with a little bit of water. And even though we did a round shape, as you put it on the cake, you can stretch it out a little bit and make it a little bit more straight if you need to. It's kind of hard to see this backwards, but I think I've got it. And that is pretty much the look that we have here. And if you want to add multiple layers, you go around once, you do another layer right on top of that. After it's dried, you can actually um, add some petal dust, a little color on the edges, and it makes a nice little pretty delicate ruffle. This is how to make a thin fondant ruffle. 
I'm Christy Vega Glue from Phoenix Cake Company. Please visit our website for more inspirational cake ideas, tips, and tricks. Thanks for watching.